Indigenous beef cattle wander the world's pastures. They're being raised to feed more and more people. Meat consumption is growing rapidly, especially in industrialized countries. The environmental consequences of increased demand are devastating. So what would it be like to have schnitzel without meat, or even without livestock? At the Fraunhofer Institute in the Bavarian town of Freising, that's exactly what Florian Wilt is trying to do. He and his team have made a schnitzel out of vegetable material. First, Wilt blends wheat, peas or soya in water. It's the protein he's looking for. The skins aren't necessary for his meat substitute. This is the base material. We'll refine it a bit later. Then we'll dry it and use it as a meat substitute. Wilt takes the mixture for the meat substitute to the lab's filtering plant. This machine can process a thousand liters daily. When it's finished, the base material is available for about 200 kilos of vegetable meat. The heart of the plant is the filtration module. In principle, it's made up of fine porous tubes. The openings are about the size of a human pore. They allow the sugars through, but the proteins are held back. The next step takes place back at the lab, where the highly concentrated vegetable powder is put into something like a high-tech pressure cooker attached to a cooling system. But first, the powder is mixed with water, then heated to 150 degrees Celsius while simultaneously being subjected to high pressure. The mass inside the device is slowly cooled to produce a fibrous chewing gum-like substance that already looks like real meat. Wilt conducts the first taste test. In theory, you could eat it already, but it doesn't quite have the desirable texture. It's still too doughy. Still not a schnitzel? No, not quite. The vegetarian meat is rich in protein and fiber and low in fat. The texture is supposed to be similar to that of chicken, and that's the way it should feel when you chew it. Florian Wilt knows that real meat eaters will take some convincing, particularly when it comes to taste. That's why he's been experimenting with different flavors for five years. If he and his team are able to produce large quantities of meat substitute in the future, the potential could be enormous. Producing vegetarian schnitzel requires far less land. We take the raw materials right from the fields, so with the same amount of land, we could feed far more people. Mitigating world hunger is one of Florian Wilt's visions. Another is sustainable use of valuable resources, and he's on the right track because it takes far less energy and land to produce meat made from peas, wheat or soya than from grazing animals. <laughs>